here live at the OpenStack Summit, day one of a three-day broadcast here, Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of OpenStack Summit uh, 2013 here in Portland, Oregon. I'm John Furrier with the co-host uh, Jeff Frick, standing in for Dave Vellante, and uh, we're here to bring you all the exciting developer action, all the big moves by the big companies and startups. Um, you know, joined by our next guest, Barton George from Dell, Director of Developer Relations. Developer Programs, Developer yeah. Programs, yep. so you guys, obviously, yeah, we've known each other. You guys have uh, doing some great work. Sputnik was a big announcement. We we'll talk more about that. So, so uh, I got to ask you, you checking just to check in. Yeah. What do you think about OpenStack this event? Obviously, the growth. We talked about some of the numbers. Three thousand people here. Massive growth. Some expect an even bigger next event. Just what's your take? I mean, you've been involved in the community, uh, developer community, and this world for a while since the beginning. All of us have. Um, just seeing it come from, it's where it's come from to now is amazing. It, no, it is. It, uh, it, it's been pretty darn impressive because I went to the first event um, back at the Omni Hotel in Austin when it wasn't public. They had a few select companies there and it was just a few of us. And it's crazy now. I I went to a bunch of them in a row and then I missed, I think, the last couple. So I haven't seen the growth. So I came here today and I saw all the people in the audience. I didn't realize I was at the OpenStack. I thought I was like at OSCON or something. It was huge. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing that was impressive too was when they asked how many people here are new, it seemed like about half the, the hands went up. So that's really exciting to see is that the all, all of the new folks who are getting in here, it's not just the old folks that are keep coming back, it's, it's new people who are coming out. And I, I came in on the Max and was talking to, uh, to, to one vendor who said, yeah, hey, we've heard about this OpenStack thing, and so now they're sending us out here to, to, to check it out, and I think you're seeing more and more of that going forward. Yeah, and just for the folks out there, a little prop to, to Barton and his team at Dell. They were really a big supporter of SiliconANGLE going back two years ago when we launched a site called DevOps Angle, which was at the time kind of like off the radar. Why are you doing a site dedicated to DevOps? This show is about the DevOps revolution is changing and transforming the data center, not just enterprises, service providers, telcos, and enabling developers, and you've been a big supporter. I want to say thank you sure. for that, and uh, you know, we did some good work. We still still have that site. Go to devopsangle.com, um, but the DevOps now is a mindset shift. It's happening, as we say, this, there's meat on the bone. Right. Um, you've got use cases now. It's not just, hey, you know, renegades, guys doing some nab web apps. It's shadow IT is maturing as, as best practices, um, new paradigms, new products. DevOps is here to stay. Well, and I think one of the things too is that we're seeing is if you look at the people who are buying, it's, it's less the IT, but it's business plus developers working together. So what, in the past you could sort of write off as, hey, this is rogue activity the developer's doing, and it's not really mainstream. Now the businesses are going to the developers and saying, I need this now, and however you need to do it, you do it. And so they'll go and they'll find their own way of making it happen. So if IT does not start working with them in the developer and the operations, the two together, they're going to be circumvented. And it's, it's bad for the business overall if they're not all three of these groups working yeah. together. Yeah, they say agile is about being agile and you need the speed and the developers have that speed now. Now the ops and IT guys have to have it. It can't be the bottleneck anymore. Right, it's all about, DevOps is all about removing friction and increasing velocity. And so with that, trying to make sure that your processes work as smoothly as possible and that you, the sides are working together um, as opposed to tossing code over the wall and then and then pointing fingers when things don't work. So let's just do a little check in with you and Dell. We saw you at the Dell World. We had the cube there. Talked to Michael Dell, Marius Haas, all the top executives at Dell. I really don't want to make any comments about that current situation. It's pretty much just you know financial engineering at this point. Um, but you guys have done some pretty good work. Give us the update on what's going on with Sputnik and some of the developer stuff that you guys were doing. Sure. So um, we came out with the Sputnik laptop. Uh, in November, and so it's, this is basically what it looks like. Kind of looks like what you got over there. But I thought it was a MacBook Air. Yeah, no, wow. this is the uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like. So it's it's very thin. It's very uh, very svelte. Um, Don't drop it. Don't yeah, drop so it. Don't yeah, exactly. It's hard but to open. Yeah, there you go. But uh, <laughs> can you get a camera shot on that? There you go. Um, 
So it's it, it's as thin as a MacBook Air, a little bit uh, sturdier in terms of, but about the same weight, maybe a little bit extra weight, but really close. Yep. And we've got eight gigs, and the version that we just released in February is uh, 1080p, so nice resolution. Um, and the, the neat thing about this is this is something that really was driven by the community. So about a year ago, we had an internal incubation program where they were looking for ideas within locked up in people in Dell's heads that uh, might help to spur innovation. So I went and I pitched this idea of why don't we do a developer laptop running Ubuntu. And I got the green light, so I was given a certain pot of money and six months to go out and see if this could be real. And so we went out. A lot of money is good. Yes, Six it, months, that's a lot, it's a short time table. Yeah, no, it was a very <laughs> short time table. Um, and the pot was kind of a small, shallow yeah. pot, let's put it that way. But um, <laughs> anyway, the um, what pushed us over the edge from this being a project to a, to a product was when we asked for uh, people to apply for a uh, beta program. And we had the beta cosmonauts, as we called them. And we had 6,000 people from around the world who who wrote in. And this wasn't just a tick box, yes, I want to be part of this. This was um, what languages do you develop in? What laptop are you using now? What industry do you work in? What is the size of your company, et cetera? Very detailed. And we saw with that level of commitment and that kind of hunger for something like this, this needs to be to be real. In fact, one of the, um, the things right from the very beginning that showed us we struck a nerve was the amount of traffic I had on my website. So I announced it on my website, on my, on my sorry, my uh, blog. Your blog. Yeah, yeah, and normally over the life of an uh, entry, I'll get 500 hits, 500 views. This one now has about 65,000. Wow. So it, it we just knew <laughs> that people were very excited. And also, we were expecting a little bit more, shall I say, balanced response. So a lot, a lot of skepticism we expected, and I was overwhelmed with the amount of positive feedback we got and the support from the community for us to, to develop something like this. And so as I say, it went, uh, we announced at OSCON it was going to be a real product, and then in November we launched the first one, and then in February we came out with the next version with a better resolution, and we also made it available in Europe. So it's available all over Europe and, and the States right so now. So was there no laptop uh, developer platform? So or was this so innovative, or was there some so other innovation? The, there's no, there's no um, tier one OEM that's doing a developer laptop or, or an Ubuntu laptop. Okay, and so okay. that was the thing, is that we were the first ones to do that. Um, and so we had to work to get the drivers to all to work, say okay. for things like the touchpad, and then to push those upstream so that other distros can, can benefit from that as well. So that was one of the big parts. The other parts which we're now building out is the the cloud connection. So we have what's called a, the cloud launcher, and today that's the um, Linux containers you can, you can model your application environment in Linux containers on the laptop, and then using uh, Canonical's Juju, you can push that to the cloud and deploy it. So there's a whole DevOps tool chain right there because you're, you're developing and then deploying uh, through a single uh, tool chain. We're also working on a version of that that will be uh, running using Chef's ops code. Uh, sorry, ops code's Chef, and we'll be doing a version of that. Uh, and so we're going to be demoing that here at the, at the conference a little bit later. Then the other piece to it that we're going to be start building out is the profile library. And the idea with that is we're going to build profiles of say language stacks, maybe that would be Android or Ruby or uh, JavaScript, that will be the whole stack you need to develop in that language. And we'll put those out on GitHub. So people will then be able to take those stacks uh, and then using a chef-based tool, pull it down and install it on the laptop and get going. Right. So if you've got new hires, you can tell them to go and pull down the setup that they need. If you say normally work in Ruby and you're working with someone, um, say an Android platform and you need to, to work together on that, then they'll tell you what profile you want to go and pull down. Right. So that's something um, we've been talking about for a while and we're now working on it again. We want to first focus on getting the, the, the laptop itself out and now that we've got this, we're going to be uh, re-debuting, I should say, the, the profile tool and the profile library. So look for that coming up soon. Yeah. Uh, and then the cloud tool, like I said, you can you can deploy today using um, Juju and Linux containers, and then going forward, it will be Chef as well. So interesting choice of code. This was the code word, right? Yes, Sputnik. Sputnik which, which, if you read any history on on Silicon Valley and, and what an impactful event Sputnik was, not only to the space program but to the chip manufacturers and this tremendous transformative investment that basically created Intel. Um, so was that chosen? 
on purpose or was it just no, the, cute? Or, no, no, no. no. The uh, what, you're the working original, down an alphabetical list and S was the next letter no, no, uh, on it, the it, list. It, this is allu an allusion to uh, Mark Shuttleworth's trip into space. So Mark is the founder of Ubuntu, um, which this is based on. So he actually went up in an old Soyuz, but that's not as cool as Sputnik, so right. I called it Sputnik. Okay. So that's, okay. that's how that name okay. came up. And as we first started, it was just going to be the laptop. And when I first pitched this to Mark uh, about a week before I took it to the Innovation Fund, he said, hey, that's a great idea. Why don't you connect it to the cloud? And that's where the whole idea of with, with Juju and making DevOps toolchain came in. Okay. Uh, and then very early on uh, in the in the uh, when we had our alpha developers, our alpha cosmonauts, someone else suggested the profile tool. And so those from the very beginning, now that becomes Sputnik. It's okay. those three main components okay. that we have. And this is obviously the furthest along at this okay. point. Yeah, interesting. Because that was such a big event and really funded <coughs> the early development of the microprocessors and, and it was all about the weight, right? It was all about, yep. we don't care how much it costs, it's weight, 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 weight. Right. And without that little uh, flying, beeping mechanism going around the earth, uh, it would be a different place. It was a big, uh, big wake-up call for a lot of people. Yes. So. Well, I think yeah. the thing about this product that interests me was the fact that a lot of developers program on local host, which is their machine, and then upload it to the cloud. So having a developer machine is of interest. Um, the question is, is that, um, and that many people ask is, what does that machine look like, and how much customization can they do? So the question to you is, where do you guys look? Where are you guys going to go with that? Well, I think what we want to do is we have an initial version of this, and this is what we'll support. So that's one of the things. This comes with pro support when you buy it. But we're very open to the community, and we would encourage the community to take it and start putting whatever distro you want on it. So people have done a port for this for for Gen 2 and Fedora and CentOS. And I encourage that, especially as we start pushing some of the drivers upstream, that it makes it a lot easier for other ones to come on. And also, if you look at the forums on our tech center, people are, we're supporting this on 1204, but people have, have put uh, 1210 on it, they're putting 1304 on it, and so we want people to take this as a platform beyond where we ever would, would think of it. Um, and so that's something that, that we, in, we encourage, although we don't have the resources to go and do each and every one of those. That's the beauty of the open source model. Well, you guys did a great job there. Some other, just to kind of shift into the kind of the OpenStack framework here, um, what is your feedback you're hearing from the developers? Obviously the DevOps is a home run, we just covered that piece about, it's the preferred method. Um, what are you seeing about developers in some of the successful use cases? What are you seeing as, you know, no brainer, this is what's happening, our efforts going into the clouds, obviously mobile is big. Is right. Any other areas you can share with the audience on that you're seeing that's getting a lot of traction? Well, you know, I haven't been as plugged in in OpenStack recently. I was very plugged in. Then I went off to focus on the the web space. That was from the from the uh, startups in the dorm rooms all the way up to the um, the Facebooks and the Googles. And now I'm coming back to the cloud. So I'm just rediving in. That's why I had sort of a lapse in my OpenStack time. But I am seeing a lot of stuff with storage. Uh, that I think that's one of the the big usage use cases that we're seeing a lot of people. Uh, looking at this for, and I also think that, that uh, general test and dev is, uh, is something that's, that's very popular at this point, where you start with some basic infrastructure as a service and start adding on top of that. Awesome, uh, final question before we're getting tight on time to wrap up the next segment is, um, what's going to happen next year for you guys? What are you looking at? What's your major to-do items? What are you looking at for the next, uh, your roadmap for the next next year or so? It, well, it'll be interesting to see. We have a few uh, wild cards in our in our future that we can't uh, we can't predict. I don't think anyone can predict. But that being yeah, said, outside of the yes, yes. what will happen with <laughs> Dell, right. I'll say it. <laughs> yes. Um, which you know, I've, as I've, I've reported, I think it's going to be fine. It's just got to shake out that financial engineering plan. But you know, Dell's not going anyway. It's not. It's like it's like. Dell's not going anywhere. Right. So like, the, there'll be a pot still there'll be still be a pot of money. Yes. So there'll exactly. still be a pot of money for you. Right. But um, I think that the big focus for me going forward is to really beef up our outreach to developers. Because I think that as we go forward to be an end-to-end -end solutions company, we need to work and, and focus on this very influential constituency. We've been traditionally focused at the IT folks and they are extremely vital to what we do. But at the same time, we either need to talk to developers directly and we do outreach to that and also work with IT to under, help them understand and work with developers within their own group. And so that's really what I want to do is start working with this and build it out, as I say, on the both the cloud side, the profile side, and then also as a whole program, look at how we better serve and understand developers going forward. And that's really where my efforts are because if you're going to play in the cloud space, you, you 
you cannot exist if you don't have a keen interest and a keen involvement with developers. Yeah, no doubt developers are the focus right now. That's where the innovation's happening. You know, top of the stack and with mobile and with social, these new, new environments, it's just a massive creative opportunity right now and the infrastructure's got to get retooled and we're seeing that with OpenStack. So uh, uh, great to have you on theCUBE, Barton Show. Always a pleasure to have you here on theCUBE and thanks for your support over the years. Dell's been fantastic to work with uh, and thanks for the support for, at the time was a crazy idea that uh, no one really kind of understood, devopsangle.com, which now is now the preferred cloud mindset for enterprises. Yes. And uh, the world's coming there. If you're an enterprise, if you're not talking DevOps, you need to kind of hit the drawing board again because it's coming right down the front door of your company. So this is theCUBE, exclusive coverage at OpenStack here in Portland, Oregon. The world's changing. We're here on the ground with all the action. This is uh, theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE and Jeff Frick, uh, wikibon.org. We're here inside theCUBE. <laughs>